start today's practice. Welcome everyone and um, to the mobility yoga flow. Uh, my name is Jules for those who haven't met me and we're gonna work on a lot of like spiral movement today to elongate our spine and just unwind our mind from all the expectations that we have. And I want to invite you to find a moment to feel comfortable on your mat by sitting in an easy cross leg position. Place the hands in any position that you like. Palms facing down usually have a more grounding effect on your body. Also use the mudra, bringing the thumb and the pointer finger together, palms facing up as a gesture of focus and meditation. Use the sacred space in the morning to check in with yourself to see how you feel. You use your breath as tool to guide yourself into this present moment, fully as it is. You're welcome to invite Ujjayi breathing already into the practice to heat your body from inside out by gently restricting the back of the throat. Create that oceanic sound. Maybe even hold an image in your mind close to the ocean. body to soften in this pose, your mind to soften. Guide your hands together in front of your heart. We're going to begin practice by chanting one on together. Exhale all the air out and inhale to begin. into your chest. Invite your personal intention into your heart space. And I invite you today to release any expectations, to just flow with your breath and your body in a way that it likes to move this morning. Inhale slowly, open your eyes. Release your hands back to your thigh and bring the right ear to the right shoulder gently. The weight of the head is enough. Inhale, bring it back to center and exhale to the other side. Make sure the shoulders are fully relaxed. Maybe you feel more tension in one side. Inhale, back to center, exhale, just bring the head and neck forward, chin to chest. The rest of the spine, nice and straight. Inhale, lift the head up and exhale, head towards the back. 
Feel the opening in the throat, our chakra for speak. Neutral head position. You can try to do some circles or do the exact same thing that you did before if circles are too much this early in the morning. Try to make it slow, not like a running person around the clock. Make it really slow. Try to feel every part of your neck. Shoulders, arms, relax. And then when your head is bowing forwards, step for a breath and then reverse direction. Do you feel the skin? Do you feel the tissues? The vertebrae? Observe what you feel and how present can you be with what you feel. And then come back to your center line. Lift the head up. We're going to shift back in the tabletop position on your mat, shoulders over wrists, let's just do some cat cow movements here, inhale, arch your spine, look forward, maybe even head back, exhale round, tuck the tailbone under, belly to the spine, inhale, reach forward, find the expansion in your chest, exhale, round and go. One last time, really feel into your spine. As you exhale, round like an angry cat. Inhale, neutral spine, come onto your toes and shift yourself back into a downward facing dog. Inhale, shift yourself forward to plank. Exhale, push yourself back to downward facing dog. One more time, and then shift forward to plank, shoulders over wrists. Exhale, downward facing back. Here you can bend one leg at a time and swing your hips a little bit from side to side to open the side body. Keep evenly the weight distributed in your hands and arms. Maybe shake the head out, do some bounces for your chest. Whatever serves this first down dog this morning, maybe you just need stillness. Embrace that fully as you wish. And then walk your feet towards the front of the mat. Halfway lift in your chest, Adho Tanasana. Exhale, bow forward, full Tanasana. Bend your knees and roll up one vertebra at a time. Onto the top, standing on your mat. Let's do some big circles for our shoulders. Lift them up and back. The arms can just glide along the body. Then reverse direction, pull the shoulders from the back to the front. Very nice. And then find stillness, hands in front of your heart. Come back to your intention. You know, just warm up the body with some sun salutations, Dharma Yoga style. Inhale, bring your arms up and back. Reach back. Exhale, above forward. Full Uttanasana. Inhale, step the right leg back. Low lunge, reach forward with your chest. Exhale, both feet meet in plank, knees, chest and chin, Ashtanga Namaskara. Inhale, Cobra. And exhale, push back to downward facing dog. One deep breath here. Maybe exhale it out through the mouth. Let your expectations go. Inhale, right leg lifts. Three leg it down now. Exhale, step it forward, in between your hands, lift your heart and chest, low latch. 
both feet meet in the front of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up and back. Exhale, Talasana. Left side, inhale, reach up and back. Exhale, bow forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift the left foot up and back. Step back into your low lunge. Both feet meet. Plank, Ashtanga Namaskara, knees, chest and chin. Inhale, slide forward into your cobra. Exhale, push back into downward facing dog. One deep breath here, full inhale, full exhale. Inhale, lift the left foot up and back. Step forward into your low lunge, open your chest. Exhale, forward fold, full tanasana. Inhale, arms lift up and back. Exhale, tanasana. One more round, inhale, up and back. Exhale, fold forward, tanasana. Inhale, lift the right leg up, step it back, low lunge. Forward with your chest, exhale. Knees, chest and chin. Inhale, cobra. Lift your heart up. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. One deep breath here. Fill up your lungs. Inhale, right leg lifts. Step forward in between your hands. Heart up. Exhale, both feet meet. Full tanasana. Inhale, arms up and back. And exhale, Tarasana. Left side, inhale, up and back. Exhale, bow forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, lift the left leg back, step back into your low lunge. Exhale, plank, knees, chest and chin. Slide forward in your cobra with your inhale. Exhale, back. To downward facing dog. One deep breath to just pause. Lift the left leg up with your inhale. Step it forward in between your hands. Heart lifts. Exhale, both feet meet. Uttanasana. Inhale, jump and back. Exhale, Tadasana. Inhale, bend your knees, lift your arms up for your chair, find the length in your chest, pull the navel into the spine, exhale, hands alongside of your body, uh, body nose to the knees, arms lift as high as you can, inhale, Utkatasana, chair, reach up, exhale, fly nose to the knees, one last time, inhale, arms up. Find the length in your upper body. Exhale, round and curl, nose to the knees. Inhale, Utkatasana. And exhale, bow forward, knees straight, full Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back into your plank. You can take the knees again or go for a full Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, back to downward facing dog. Enjoy your breath in your downward facing dog. Sink deeper with every time we arrive here. Inhale, lift the red leg up, three leg it down, down. Exhale, step forward, low lunge. Hard lift. Exhale, straighten your left leg, straighten your right leg, pyramid pose. Inhale, rebend the right leg for low lunge. Two more. Exhale, straighten, forehead to shin. Inhale, lift, pull your chest forward. Last one. Straighten for a breath. Inhale, release, stay in your low lunge and then bring your arms up. Reach up tall. I'll show you from the front. Grab with your right wrist, your left hand, and just gently lean to the right side to find the length in your left 
side body. Try not to let the knee drift out to the side. It wants to stay in your center line. Exhale, release both hands inside of the right leg. Step it back into your plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, right back into your downward facing dog. We switch to the other side, bring the left leg up and back. Step it forward in between your hands. Low lunge, right knee down, hard lifts. Exhale, straighten both legs. Pyramid pulse. Inhale, rebound, look forward. And exhale, straighten and bow. Last one, inhale, rebound. And exhale, straighten. Inhale, come all the way up in your low lunge. Right knee stays down, both arms lift. With your left hand, grab the right wrist, lean to the left side. Feel the whole lateral line from the elbow to the shoulder to the hip. One more deep breath here. Exhale, release. Both hands down, step back, vinyasa, or meet in downward facing dog. If you feel the vinyasa is not too much this morning, that's completely fine. Inhale, walker, jump to the front of the mat, halfway lift, Arottanasana. Exhale, bow forward, full Tanasana. Inhale, rebend your knees, come back up into your chair, Utkatasana. From your Utkatasana, shift your weight onto the right foot, so the left foot lifts. Then arms next to your body, fly into your warrior three. Let's try to come back into one leg, Utkatasana, one time. And exhale, fly back into your warrior three. Rebend the right leg so you can step back into your high lunge. Arms up. Hold onto the left wrist, lean onto the right side. If you need to bring the back knee down, that's completely fine for more stability here. Inhale, fight back to your midline. Straighten your right leg. Lift your heart and chest, nice, strong and straight spine. Exhale, pyramid pose. Release your torso to the right leg. Inhale, rebend the right leg. Place your hands down, step back into plank. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, bird facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a moment to breathe. Feel the foundation in your hands and feet. Let the head just dangle. No need to look forward. Just let it be loose. We carry so much tension in our neck. Inhale, look forward, bend your knees, maybe step or jump in between your hands, halfway lift out of Tanasana. Exhale, bow forward. Uttanasana. Inhale, Utkatasana chair. Find the stability in your chair first. Are both of your feet rooted? Then shift the weight onto the left foot. Just lift up the right. Are you drifting to the side or is your full foot on the mat? Exhale, arms alongside of the body. Warrior three. Inhale, one-legged Utkatasana chair. Go slow so you can feel your center. Exhale, shift back into your warrior three for just the breath. Rebend the left foot, reach back with the right, find your high lunge. Left hand grabs the right wrist, lean slightly to the left side, right rib cage open. Pull the lower belly in to not sink so much in your lower back. Inhale, both arms up. 
Straighten both legs, reach forward with a flat spine. Maybe stay on your fingertips for a breath. As you exhale, release into hermit pose to find the stretch in the left leg, left hamstring. Inhale, rebat. Both hands down, vinyasa, or directly to downward facing dog. What do you need this morning from this practice? No one else can tell you because you're the only person to fill it out. One more deep breath here, maybe exhale out of the mouth. Create space for yourself. Inhale, step forward up to the front, halfway left out of Uttanasana. Exhale, now forward, full Uttanasana. Inhale, come back into your chair, Utkatasana. Drift the weight onto the right leg, left leg lifts. If you want, you can do the version that we did before, otherwise keep the arms forward and shift into warrior three with arms forward. Inhale, come up to one leg, Tadasana, so the right leg is straight. Pull the left knee into your chest. And then find your half moon, so the right arm reaches down, left arm back, and left leg back, left arm up. Exhale, both hands down, standing split, left leg high. Exhale, pull the right knee outside of your right foot. Stay as low as you can, maybe even take the hands in front of your chest. From here, strong right leg, press back into warrior three. Do it one more time. From warrior three, open to the side, hip opens parallel to the side into half moon. Exhale, both hands down, standing split, left leg high. Exhale, spiral it down. Let go of the hands if you can and sit all the way down onto your bum. You can always use the hands if it's too much. Lift your chest forward, left hand stays on the outside of the knee, right arm reaches back, full Marichasana twist. I want you to find the length in your upper body, so if you feel the right shoulder collapsing forward, try to sit up straight. I always take my fingertips to find more length. Look over the right shoulder. Exhale, release the twist. Look forward, push into the um, bent leg. So you can maybe stand up into your warrior three without using the hats. Exhale, step back into your high lunge for a breath. Connect the hands behind the back, left leg parallel with the short edge of the mat, humble warrior, right shoulder inside of the right leg. One more deep breath here. Exhale, release, both hands down, step back. Chaturanga Dandasana. And upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath here, exhale it out. Try to let go of the expectations, even though you know what might come on the other side. Be curious, stay present, unexpected. Inhale, step or jump to the front of the mat, halfway left out of Uttanasana. Exhale, back forward, full Uttanasana. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair on the on both feet and then shift your weight to the left foot. Maybe arms forward for your warrior three. Keep pushing into the standing leg to lift back up into one leg Tadasana, right knee hikes into your chest. Exhale, warrior three. 
Bring the left hand down, right arm up, open the hip to the side, half moon. Find stability in this balance pose. Exhale, both hands down, standing split, right leg lifts high. Exhale, pull the knee to the outside of the left ankle. And the chest is nice and long, maybe you can come onto the fingertips or bring the hands in front of the chest. Press into the leg to find back to your warrior three. Very nice. From here, come one more time up, right knee into the chest. Both arms forward, warrior three. Exhale, half move, right arm lift. Both hands down, standing split, right leg lift. Exhale. Right knee outside of the ankle, maybe without the hands. Come all the way, sitting down. Right hand to your knee, left arm back. Find the length, pull the left hip bone down. Look over your left shoulder and just breathe into this twist. Unwind your spine, unwind your mind. Exhale, release, shift your gaze forward, push into the bent leg, then push into the front leg, find your warrior three. Exhale, high lunge. Both hands interlace behind the back, back foot parallel to the short edge of the mat. Lean forward with your heart so you can guide your left shoulder inside of your left knee with just 90 degree let your torso hang exhale release both hands down step back plank chaturangalasana inhale good facing up exhale downward facing down two deep breath here <clears throat> then bring the knees down, walk the hands forward, anahata pose, forehead to the mat, bring the right hand underneath the left, you can rest the right cheek on the mat. You can just stay here if that's already enough weight in your right shoulder. Otherwise, you can guide your left arm behind um, your back to the right inside of the thigh. To spiral yourself a little bit more. Try to drop all the weight onto the right shoulder. Let gravity do the work here without trying to push and pull. Just rest in this pose. And take the left arm back forward, find the length first. So you can push into that left hand and guide the right arm up. Right arm forward, left arm underneath, left ear to the mat. Find a moment here, your left arm is in one straight line with your left shoulder. Maybe guide the right arm to the back or even to the inside of the left thigh. Exhale, release the right arm all the way to the front if it's not there yet. And then unwind your left arm. Both arms forward, maybe even look forward. And then slide yourself onto your belly. Rest your forehead on your hands for a moment here. <coughs> Bring your hands underneath the shoulders for a cobra. 
try not to watch my feet because I want to show you from the front. But um, no, actually you can bend both of your feet on top of your knees. Push into the left hand, spiral around the left side. Exhale, come back into your cobra, push to the other side, lift up, right arm back. Let's do two more on each side. Use the cobra to push yourself up into a sitting position. The feet should just land naturally. The knee in front of the foot. One more time, each side. And then find back into your cobra. Now you can straighten out the legs, interlace the hands behind the back. Lift the hands from the lower back first. And then lift your torso up. Shalabhasana for a breath. Open the front side of the body. Exhale. Release. Hands underneath the chest. Push yourself back into a child's pose. Arms forward alongside of your body. Feel the moves that we just did. And see how you can trust your body by just following its natural flow. And lift yourself back up to sitting. So you can bring both of your legs forward. And that's kind of the same movement that we just did, but in the other direction. So your feet are hip width apart and you just swing your legs a little bit from side to side. Until you feel naturally that your knees are coming to the inside of the leg. You should see it like this. And when you found that, which we call like 90 degree pigeon internal external rotation, you find the knee to the inside edge of the foot and spiral back, left arm is back, right arm tries to go a little bit deeper in that spiral. Inhale, you find to your midline, left knee down and Unwind your spine to the other side. It's similar to the movement that we did, but this goes a little bit deeper into the back. Just continue the spiral without thinking so much about it. One more time each side. And then come back to the front. <coughs> Bring your legs together, just give yourself a hug. You can hug your arms in front of the shins or even in the back of the thigh and just rest your head onto your knees. Take a moment to compress, to feel the space you're in. And then release, cross your legs shift back onto your hats and fight back to your downward facing dog. The moment to reset here, no expectations, just flow. Inhale, step or jump to the front of the mat, halfway left, Adotanasana. Exhale, bow forward, full Tanasana. Inhale, all the way up to standing my first asana. Exhale, Tadasana. Inhale, bend the knees, Utkatasana Chi. Shift the weight onto the right foot, left leg lifts. Shift forward into Warrior Three. Find your half moon from here, right hand down, left arm lifts. Exhale, spiral it down. Hold it low, maybe without the hand. Maybe you can even straighten the lower leg and catch 
the toe or the foot, lean forward, inhale, come back up into warrior three, and exhale, standing split, lift the left leg high, if you want to play with balance, you can bring one hand or both behind the leg. Exhale, step it back from here into a high lunge, both arms up. Interlace the hands behind the back. Stay forward with your chest this time. Lean your belly onto the right thigh. Shift your weight forward. Find warrior three one more time with the arms interlaced. Let go of the arms, find your forward fold. Both feet hip width apart. You can just dangle on the front of your legs. Knees bend, also an option. And grab your peace fingers to your big toes. Find the length in your spine, halfway lift. Exhale, bow forward, elbows out to the side. Inhale, halfway lift. Take your left hand underneath your left shoulder or a little bit more in the midline. Shift your weight onto the left foot and hover your right. Maybe that's enough. Maybe you can lift it a little higher. Try to keep the hips parallel here. One more breath. Exhale, release. Let's try the other side, right hand down, grab the left big toe, shift your weight to the right side first. Maybe just hover by hacking up the hip, maybe lift it halfway up, maybe all the way in one line with your hips. Where's the stability in this pose? Exhale, release. Both hands down, bend your knees, Swing from side to side. Inhale, halfway lift. Walk your feet together. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bend your legs. Utkatasana, chair pose. Shift your weight onto the left foot. Reach forward with your arms. Warrior three. Left hand down, right arm up. Half moon on this side. Exhale, ankle or knee outside of the ankle. Maybe let go of the hands, maybe grab the outside of the foot and straighten the leg a little bit. Inhale, press back into your warrior three. Exhale, both hands down, standing split, right leg lifts. Stay just here or maybe hold both hands behind the left foot. Play with your balance a little bit more. Inhale, halfway lift, step back into your high lunge. Open your arms up into the sky. Interlace the hands behind the back. Open chest, lean forward with your belly to your thigh. Try to find the lift from your leg. Warrior three. Let go of the hands, step into your forward fold, legs, hip width apart. This time place both of your hands underneath the feet. Bend your knees like you would go for ski springing motion. Really have the feet all the way to your wrist. Exhale, straighten the legs as much as possible, bring the chin to the chest. By stepping onto the hands, you create traction in your shoulders. Inhale, lean forward, even look forward, flat spine. Exhale, pull. Last one, inhale, bend. Shift your gaze forward, flat spine. And exhale. Take the feet out, show you from the front, shift your weight onto the left foot, 
and open the hip to the side. Exhale, guide it to the outside of the left knee, uh, left ankle. Inhale, spiral it up, knee towards the sky. One more time, spiral it down. Inhale, open the hip in the front, squats. And exhale, come all the way down to sitting like we did before. Marichasana. Right hand on your knee, left arm reaches back. This time, if you want to go deeper, you can take the outside of the knee or if you have the bind, you can always find your deepest variation. We stay here for five breaths, a little longer this time. Can you ground your left sitting bone and your left hip? Find the stretch in your outer glutes. Maybe look all the way back to feel the length in your neck, pull the shoulder blades down, exhale release, counter twist to the other side, you can just stay on your hands if that's enough, but you can also come all the way down onto your forearms and drop your head. I always like to integrate some wiggles. Maybe that feels good for you too. And then inhale. Come back up with or without the hands. Come back up to standing right leg lifts one more time. And then place it down. Same thing on the other side. Shift the weight onto the right leg. Open the hip knee towards the sky. Exhale, spiral it down outside of the ankle. Inhale, lift up, knee all the way up. Exhale, down. Last one. Inhale, up, open the front of the hip. Exhale, down. Come all the way to sitting. Mari Chasana. See if you have a straight spine first, left hand on the knee, right arm back. You want to go deeper, take the elbow to the outside of the knee. How can you find length? How can you find your breath? In each position that you're in. Pull the navel into the spine. Maybe close the eyes to feel that pose from inside. How does it feel? Do you feel restricted? Or steady and comfortable. One more deep breath here. And exhale, release back to your midline. Hands just next to you for a counter twist. If you want to go deeper, come into your forearms, but make sure this knee stays up, the whole foot is on the mat. Maybe gentle wiggles. And then come back up, shift your weight forward, unwind your legs, forward fold, one more time. Knee and uh, legs together or separated, doesn't matter so much to me right now. Inhale, halfway lift, plant your hands, step back into your plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. One more deep breath here. Walk the right foot outside of the right hand, left knee down. Can stay on your hats or you can walk your elbows down here as well. Make sure the right knee stays in your midline. Use a pause. We did a lot of balancing work in the beginning of the flow. 
We'll make sure that our hips can find the release. If you know a deeper variation by bringing your chest more down, you're welcome to go there. A little more deep breath here. Fill the space of tension with your breath. And bring your hands back up onto your mat so you can walk your foot to the other side in your half pigeon variation. The knee wants to stay outside of the hip. You can bring your hands next to you. Look back if your left leg is nice and straight. If you need any support with a block or a pillow, feel free to do so. One more breath in an upright sitting position. So the left psoas has something from this pose to. And you can find your sleeping pigeon variation by leaning forward. If you want to work more on the upright position, just stay upright. Maybe take your hands underneath the forehead. yourself back up in an upright sitting position. Lean onto your right butt cheek and just open to the side. I'll show you from the front. So the right heel is inside of the left leg. Bring your right arm up, reach forward with your left. Keep the length in your left arm and just reach with your right. Yeah, with that twist. Make sure the rib cage stays open instead of collapsing forward. That's why I like to use my left arm to actually push into the floor and open the right side body a little bit more. And exhale, bring the right arm down and lean with your belly button towards the left leg. Hands can stay outside of the leg. Or if you want to go deeper, you can take the right hand to the outer edge of the foot to pull your right body a little bit closer to the leg, straight forward. Inhale, release, roll back to the front and free your right leg, three-legged down, down. And open the hip here as well. Maybe pull the heel towards the glutes. And exhale all the way down into your downward facing duck. And switch to the other side, left leg lifts. Exhale, step it outside off the left hand, 90 degree in your left leg. Right knee down, lizard pose. Stay upright if you need to. If you can lower onto your forearms, that's great. Maybe you need something in between, maybe a pillow to find like a medium height. The spine wants to be nice and long. You can release the head and the back of the neck, your jar, your face. Walk yourself back onto your hands if you're not there yet and guide the foot to the opposite side for your pigeon. Upright spine, feel the stretch in your right psoas, connection from belly to the thigh on the right side. 
and breathe into that stretch for one more breath. And then release sleeping pigeon variation any way you like. Shoulders relax. Allow yourself to drop fully into this pose without expectations without trying to push yourself any further than your body is guiding you right now. Allow presence to take over. One more deep breath. Come back up onto your hands. And shift on the left butt cheek, open the right foot out to the side. Pull the um, foot to the inside of the right thigh. Right arm forward, left arm reaches up. And then reach up and to the side. Push into the hand to open the rib cage even more. Side body stretch. Exhale, release. Come back up. Guide your belly button towards the extended leg. If you can't reach the foot, you can always grab onto the shin and pull with your left hand a little bit to guide your torso directly above your right leg. If you are more flexible, take the outer edge of the foot. To the front, free your left leg, lift it into the sky, open your hip. Exhale, both legs down. Bring both knees down, find your child's pose. You can stay in your child's pose as long as you like. Or you can move into a headstand from here by measuring the distance, placing both hands onto your elbows. Open the hand to the front, you find a triangle shape right here. You can place the crown of the head into your hands and just straighten your legs. Maybe just walk forward until you feel like, okay, that's enough for my head and neck today. I just want to feel some pressure here. And go in and out of this pose, otherwise you can bring both knees into your chest until you feel your hips above your shoulders. And if you feel stable here, bring the legs all the way up by pressing into the elbows and forearms. You should feel most of the weight here instead of your head. Try to stay for 10 deep breath in your inversion or any of the previous steps. If you have a more advanced practice, you can close your eyes and just meditate in this position. to take the same slow exit out. Maybe pull the knees into the chest, one leg at a time or both at the same time. Lend softly without making any noise. 
Come back into your child's pose if you're not there yet. Observe how you feel. Observe your body and your mind to understand the pattern that are underneath. Pull yourself back into presence. Over and over again. Now come back up to sitting. Guide your legs to the front. Bring both arms up. Find length. Exhale, Pashimottanasana. Lean forward. Elongate your spine one more time. Exhale. Hold forward, Paschimottanasana. Five deep breath here. How deep can be your inhale? How releasing can be your exhale? then bend your knees and lay down on your back. Make sure the heels are so close you can touch your hands to your heels. Lift up into a shoulder bridge. You can keep the arms alongside of your body if you want to go deeper into lace the hands and walk the shoulders together. If you want to go even deeper and you want to go into a wheel pose, feel free to do so. I'm going to stay in this variation this morning. Find your own limits. Find what is serving you. My voice is just a guide. You are your own best teacher. Try to stay for three more deep breaths. Wherever you are, slowly come back down on your back. Let the knees just fall into each other. Give your spine some rest. And then straighten the left leg to the front, right knee into your chest. I'm going to end with a simple spinal twist. Right arm out. Guide with the left hand, the knee, to the left side. Look over to the right. So here you don't necessarily need to pull so much. Just let the weight of the arm guide the leg into the right direction. Right shoulder stays grounded. One more deep breath here. And then let your body just pull you back to your midline and straighten the right leg up. Other side, both hands hold the left knee in, compression on the left side. Right hand stays on the outside of the knee, left arm out to the side. Move yourself into the spinal twist. Look over your left shoulder. Maybe close the eyes already here. And let go of the knee. Let the body pull itself, itself back into the midline. And then hug both knees in, make some circles. With your knees, ground your lower spine. 
Give yourself a big squeeze, hands or up, um, arms around the shins, pull the nose to the knees. Take a deep inhale here, hold everything tight. And exhale, release into your final resting pose, Shavasana. Legs out wide, palms facing up. Close your eyes. Let the breath become completely natural here. Stay present even though your body is not moving anymore. Embrace the practice as it is right now. your whole body relax in this final resting pose, Shavasana. There's nothing to hold on to. Let yourself be carried in this present moment. Try not to fight with life. Rather, just be held. miracle of love and life comes to you in the presence of the uninterpreted moment. If you are mentally somewhere else, you miss real life. Slowly reawaken yourself from this final resting pose. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Roll your head from side to side. Let the breath deepen. arms over the side, give yourself a nice morning stretch. Roll onto your favorite side, fetal position, use your arms as a pillow. Take a moment to be grateful for life just as it is. making it onto your mat this morning for practicing, for exploring this present moment. And then roll up into a final sitting position to finish the practice with a seated meditation your body any softer, your mind any more calm. Just observe the benefits of your own practice.
and guide your heads together in front of your heart, Anjali Mudra. Come back to your intention. And we're going to end practice by chanting Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti together. Inhale. center, your seat of intuition, to your lips for always speaking your truth, and back to your heart. May you always be guided by your heart. Namaste.